Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Hope everything is okay. So I'm Felipe. I, today I'm in Chapada Diamantina in Fazenda Cajuzeira. And today's video is about pruning. You see, a lot of people, they're a bit, they don't like to prune trees, you know, because they think it's, they're gonna hurt the tree. So, you know, when people see us pruning trees, they're a bit, in awe, you know, because we're, we're planting forests, but the way we prune trees sometimes is so radical and people are taken a bit aback by that. And there was a video which we posted some weeks ago. This video is linked. So if you want to check it out before watching this one or after watching this one, make sure you click on the link because the area I'm going to show you was I showed it in the last video and there's this tree we use over here as a productor uh, as a producer of organic material the scientific name of the tree is let me remember Pterogeny nitings I, th I think that's it here in Brazil it's called amendoim bravo and I'm going to show to you the tree. I'm going to change the camera here. All right, there it is. You can see it was pruned. And if you check out the, the other video, you're going to see, you know, a couple of days after pruning. So you're going to notice that I took out most of the tree's canopy. And it's been... 40 days since it was pruned and look at how it responded it produced so much material and it produces so much material every year and you can see the color of the green of the leaves it's a very bright green compare it with that tree back there which has some thin sticks. It's the same species, but check out the dense of the canopy, the density of the canopy. So when we prune the tree, we really stimulate it to produce a lot of organic matter. And the more we prune it, the more we produce. And in fact, the harder the prune is, the more, uh, drastic or the more severe the prune, the more you take out from the canopy, the more it, the tree produces. So it's really amazing. And obviously this organic material is being used for a very noble purpose, which is to produce fruit. So check out this custard apple. It's got a bunch of fruits in it. Check it out. Custard apples all around. And the custard apple really loves the shade, the little shade provided by these trees. This is another one that we prune constantly. This is a species of senna. And, but this one is really our feeder, the one that really feeds the system. All the material that was pruned 40 days ago is here. And it's really producing more life. So check it out. You've already got all these webs here, you know, from little insects, and we've got termites and everything. So every year, twice a year, we're pruning the plant. So, you know, obviously, different plants are going to pruned differently but we always have species in the systems which are meant specifically for this purpose of pruning and then we prune it drastically you know we do a hard prune every year really to stimulate maximum production of organic material and an increase in the photosynthesis level because the fact is that this tree pruned like this so let's get another angle. 
these leaves are booming in photosynthesis, okay? This tree is photosynthesizing a lot. Very differently from that tree back there that I showed you. This tree's photosynthesis rate is a lot higher than that one. And that's because I'm constantly stimulating it by pruning. You know, new shoots, a young tree. And although this is not a young tree, once you prune it, you make it young again. And this really increases the photosynthesis level. And what this does is it feeds microorganisms in the soil. So I'm the tree is feeding microorganisms in two ways. First, by providing organic material, which I just showed you. And second, by pumping carbons into the soil. Because trees are exchanging constantly with microorganisms. But they need a high photosynthesis rate in order to do that. So this is what we achieve by pruning. So do prune your plants. And let's go back to this custard apple because this is a tree meant for organic material production. The custard apple is a tree meant for fruit production. There's a beauty here, soon to be harvested. This is one of my favorite fruits. Um, this one is not going to receive such a radical pruning. Although after harvest, we do a bit of a radical pruning, not as radical as our organic material producers. So obviously I'm going to be a bit more careful and I need to understand when pruning a fruit tree, which branches are productive and which aren't productive. And obviously I'm going to select how to prune each. And uh, so you've got to be careful. But for production of organic material, do not be afraid of pruning. All right. Prune the trees. And I'm going to walk around and I'm going to go to another one of the same species so that you can see the same response. Every tree we prune, we get the same response. And obviously some trees respond faster and produce more in less time. And these trees should be identified in your region. We have identified this one here for our area. You know, we're in a, it's a transition between a subhumid and semi-arid region. So check out this one. Same thing, it was pruned basically three days before the other one and check it out how it's responding just amazing beautiful canopy being formed and all the materials here you know feeding young plants and then there's the other one here this is a, from the genus eritrina it's not as vigorous as the other one but still it's a great response great great response so this is what i have for you today folks um prune your trees have plants in your systems which are meant for pruning these plants are going to feed your soil twice with the organic material they produce and by having a high photosynthesis rate and feeding microorganisms directly into the soil through carbon exchange. Do not be afraid of pruning. Trees like it. Identify in your region which plants or trees might be useful for that. And you know, if you have a comment, if you want to leave a comment below, do so. You know, tell us a bit about your region, where you're from, and what kinds of trees you think could be useful for your region or what trees you already use if you're already an agroforester and what kinds of tree you're using so i thank you a lot for watching and share this with your friends if you think somebody might benefit from it and 
This is Felipe for Diego Porsche Academy, and I'm signing out. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.